Yo, yo, Yugi Tube, this is D Fish Fan here. Um, gonna do a weekend recap, our locals recap for this weekend, this past weekend. I was only able to go to one locals. We, yeah, so. <laughs> and I went to the not, not the competitive one, but nonetheless. Um, I think there were three rounds. I went 3 0 with Malefic GKs. And, um,. Yeah, so let's just get to deck profile. And I'm going to show side deck and extra deck this time. Because I always tend to forget. Alright, so triple malefic cyber end. Such a nasty beater. Um, you could you could use it to bait back row out if you want to make a big play with your great keepers. Or you can do the other way around. You can use your great keepers to bait out the big play with malefic cyber end. So, it's got to be like my favorite way to use them. Then normal great keeper engine, triple spy, triple recruiter, triple descendant. Triple Commandants, Commandants, and then I main Triple Tengu. Um, that's I don't know. I don't I don't see a lot of people running Tengu and GKs, but I think it's a staple in any deck that you run, pretty much for the most part. Um, it just keeps coming back, and it minuses your opponent so much. Like even yesterday, Tengu, uh, just to get rid of my Tengus. Um, in the last round, someone had to use a Smashing Ground, and then they had to use a Dark Hole just on a single Tengu. So, it was pretty, it, it, it's been working so far. I really like it a lot. So then we got some staples here. Mind Control is a staple to me with Exceeds. Alert. One MST. Uh, double Royal Tribute. It's going to be more effective next ban list, uh, next format. Because of uh, Light Swarms, like a lot of hand control before they go off, and uh, uh, Chaos and such, same thing. Double Steel. This card is not really as effective as Impure Grey Keepers, but it still, still helps a lot. Triple Necro Valley, pretty obvious. So, double Seven Tools. Seven Tools is really good this format. I don't know about next format. I'm going to try working on this deck uh, right after this video for next format, see what I'm going to run run, and what kind of ideas I'm going to have. So, uh, yeah, double seven tools, compulse, near force, torrential. And then triple skill drain. This card re wrecks face. So good. So good. So, as my, my buddy exits over here said, you know, with Necro Valley out there, like 70 percent of the time pretty much you gotta worry about graveyard and skill drain effects being negated so it's pretty good and then uh, royal oppression so yeah that's the main deck uh... let's go on to the extra deck I r double utopias i would run roach if i had it but i don't uh, it's still kind of budget but once i get warnings and dualities it'll probably be more consistent uh, Granosaurus, three Cybran Dragons, pretty obvious since I run triple Malefic Cybran. Uh, Chimera Tech, Fortress, Stardust, Urbellum, <laughs> and Gaia Knight. Those are the only synchros I have. <laughs> so yeah, and my Kobe token. Alright, onto my side deck. So we got Deck Devi. Uh, mainly using it against like plants and such, but I didn't really use it yesterday. System down against offering gadgets, but I'll probably take that out next format because I, don't, I think people are going to shy away from offering gadgets. Uh, double Watt Squirrel against plants and sabers, pretty amazing. Double Change Appearance, Power Filter, Nox. Great Keeper Mirror Match. Uh, whoops, thought it was in order. Uh, double Jujus. Um, still a pretty good card. And then people don't expect it because mainly in Great Keepers, all you do is set Spy or Recruiter. So, Double Defy, MVP of the side deck when I actually get it. And Pestilence, just a random card <laughs> that works if I actually draw it, but I don't. So yeah, that was the whole deck, you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, rate it thumbs up or I'll kill you. Laters.